Well, let's see if it's all there. Please be whole. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another fossil hunting video. Today, we're looking for some ammonites and some beautiful Cretaceous age rocks. So let's get straight into it. Well, we're just making our way across this bank right now. You can see a ton of concretions at the cliff face there. Now, that's where I expect to see ammonites. So I'm going to see if we can find anything in a scree slope at the bottom here. Well, I just pulled a concretion from right out of there. It's right here, cracked it open, and we got ourselves an inoceramic clam. That means there's lots of fossils in here. I'm gonna keep breaking open these concretions along here, and hopefully we get some more stuff like this. But that's a really good sign. Awesome. Well, it just broke open in our concretion. I think that's a lobster. There's little legs. Very interesting. There are so many concretions here. There could be so many different cool fossils in here. So, and if this is a lobster, that means there's well, lobsters here, which would be really, really sick. So I'm gonna keep looking. Awesome. Looks like we have some shell material sticking out of the cliff right here. It's kind of cool to see like little oyster beds. Could be some complete stuff here. So I'm gonna do a little poking around. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Big shell. Very interesting. This area is very productive. I'm, I'm enjoying this. Okay, so I know this doesn't look like much, but that's part of a scaphite ammonite. And I just pulled it out from right there, which means there are scaphites in this little bed right here, which is a really good sign because that's what I'm after today. So I'm going to look even harder now. Check this out. Beautiful, complete oyster. Awesome. I'm happy with that. That's a cool find. Sweet. Well, I just pulled this from the cliff. There are perfect scaphites here. It's missing a little bit right here, but this is a really good start to the day. There could be some amazing stuff in here. There's so much potential. There's clams, little bits of lobsters, and scaphites. Awesome. I just broke open this concretion. I think that's fish. Oh my God, that is so cool. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, this site is amazing. I'm, I'm so excited. There's so much stuff in this little zone. Oh, this is, this is amazing. That's fish. And it looks to be articulated. I think that might be gills. I don't know. That is just the coolest thing ever though. I know that. Well, check this out. Beautiful inoceramic clam. This site just keeps producing. Awesome. Well, got another thing here I just cracked open. Got an inoceramic clam. That's pretty cool. There's so much stuff along here. I'm, I'm happy with this. Well, I just broke open this nodule here and out popped a beautiful baculite. Huh. That's kind of cool. Sweet. I'm a bit higher up on a cliff face now, but look at this. Another beautiful Ino ceramic. Cool stuff. Well, I just cracked this open and I don't know what that is. Maybe part of a lobster. That's really cool. I'm just making my way along this face now. Well, I just pulled some bits of scaphites from right there. There they are. It's one of the little parts of them. And there's another one. Still hoping to find a complete today, but these are still pretty cool. Just cracked open in our concretion. Look at that lobster. I think that's the face right there. And these are the claws and there's the back coming out. Look at the spines on it. Oh, that's so cool. Well, we got some beautiful shale beds. Let's see if we can find anything in here. Looks fairly promising. I see some concretions up there. So I'm hoping we find some ammonites. Well, I just pulled a nodule out from right here. And look at that. No ceramic clam. I'm going to try to salvage that. It has good detail. Awesome. There could be some more stuff in these nodules along here, which is promising. So I'll keep you posted. Look right there. Got a scaphite. It's busted up to hell, but shows that they're definitely in this layer here. So cool. 
just pulled this out of the cliff. Got some baculites in a 9 ceramic. Pretty cool. Still just making my way along here. These are the concretions that have the stuff in it. Well, here are all the lobsters I found today. That's a crazy one. It's a nice one. That's the best one I've found so far. I think those are the pinchers like I said before. And I don't know what this is yet. It could be fish, it could be lobster. Not sure about that. And of course, got some scaphites, a baculite, and a nice clam. Now it's on to a site farther downstream. I just pulled this out of the cliff. Complete Ano ceramic clam, pretty cool. Has a hinge and everything. Sweet. Just cracked open this concretion. And look at this. Beautiful lobster. There's the head part of the body. You can just see the amazing colors in that, like the rusty colors. That's awesome. Let me keep looking along here. Just pulled out another nice Ino ceramid. Doesn't have the hinge, but good detail. Sweet. So I just split this concretion here. There we go. Check out the detail on that Lino ceramic lamb. That's super cool. There's more concretions right there I'm gonna check out. Just pulled out this enormous section. Lino ceramic lamb, I mean, look at the size of that thing. It's a good sign. There'll be more inside. Well, I just pulled these scaphites out of the hill. That's a really nice one. And then a little baby one right here. I should prep out nicely, but that one's really nice. Good stuff. Check out what's right there. Either a clam or a scaphite, can't tell yet. Let's get it out. So it turns out it's just an Ano ceramic clam. So cool though. Right there. It's a scaphite. Well, let's see if it's all there. Please be whole. Yes, it's all there. Awesome. Well, that makes me really happy. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, look at that. It's pretty good condition. That's cool. Well, folks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoy this kind of content, a subscription would be appreciated. If you like this video, leave a like down below. And if you have any questions, you can leave a comment. And until next time, see ya.